Now, how many of you have ever had a hard day at work and thought to yourselves, I need a career change? Anyone around here? <laughs> I wouldn't say. <clears throat> Most of us, no to be fair. But would you actually dare to do it? Well, 16 people who did qualified as boat builders in Lyme Regis today. After a nine-month course, former nursery nurses, building society managers and mechanics took to the water in their handcrafted wooden boats. Claire Manning joined them. OK, there's no butcher, baker or candlestick maker, but there is an ex-banker, ex-car mechanic and an ex-nursery nurse. Today, though, they're newly qualified boat builders and they're proud of it. Look at the quality of their handiwork and you'll see why. This doesn't necessarily make them great sailors, though. Right, how do we get back in? How do we get back again, did you say? <laughs> he was pulling my leg, I'm sure. Now, nine months ago, the 16 students who graduated today gave up their day jobs to study here. Costing around £11,000, it's not a decision you take lightly. Certainly not for ex-nursery nurse Naomi Wood. So I've gone from being a nursery nurse and now to say, right, I can put a boat together. Give me a plane, I can sharpen it. Give me a chisel, I can use it. When I launched my boat, you kind of had the hot sweats and you're so nervous and it's so exciting. A teacher of 25 years, Dick Williams, is just embarking on his course. Although I've left it rather late in life, uh, I'm enjoying the course very much and hopefully we'll get a chance to build a boat of my own at some point. The boat building industry has gone through some difficult years recently. How confident are you that these guys can go on and find a job in the workplace? We are short of skilled craftsmen and that's what we're trying to, to rectify in a small way here um, in general terms the people who come on courses here um, are, uh, have a, a pick of uh, a, a number of jobs back on the water the smell of the wood chip and the taste of the sea salt has gone to my head let's go on then mike i'm up for an adventure where do you fancy yeah. south of france seychelles i reckon i fancy a trip back to africa i think where the sun shines yeah all right i'm up yeah. for that come on all let's right let's go. let's go justin hit us that way dude. <laughs> i have a feeling though i might need mike to make me a bigger boat claire manning lime regis harbour for west country news did you see her back in the office this afternoon? No, no I haven't spotted her since. I think she's on her way. Does that make you feel inadequate? There's people building those boats like that. I know, they're like fantastic. That. Really skilled. Right, anyway.